Thank you for using ultrasonic signet gauge CTS-49 and CTS-59 produced by SIUI. SIUI has been dedicated to R&D, manufacture and sales of ultrasonic fraud detector for more than 30 years. We are specialized in medical ultrasound imaging systems, ultrasonic testing equipments and ultrasonic transducers. As a perfect combination of various advanced technologies, CTS-49 and 59 have many outstanding features. High performance. It supports through coding signals measurement. A scan display. Different kinds of language available. It can store up to 10,000 sets of measurement data. Low consumption. A fully recharged battery can support the system to work continuously over 6 hours. With lightweight and small size, it is especially suitable for a loft and field work. Multiple connectors, including micro SD card port, input and output port, mini USB port and DC power input port. Rich functions, landscape and portrait screen display are good for left and right handed operation. Easy operation. Fast button switch between sender and simple menu interface. In order to make you understand features of CTS-49 and CTS-59 and operate them expertly, we will briefly introduce and demonstrate the system for you. Here we would like to introduce the operation procedure. Step 1 is calibration function. Step 2 is auto search function. Step 3 is velocity measurement. Step 4 is parameter storage. Step 5 is measuring through coding signals and step 6 is more advanced functions in CTS-59. Step 1, calibration function. Standard calibration. When work mode is normal, go to calibration main menu. Select one point or two points in calibration option. Set the thickness of reference 1 to 6 mm. Place the probe on the test block with the corresponding thickness. Go to Calibration submenu. Ensure that the coupling between the probe and the test block is good and record the first echo of reference 1. Press right direction key to run calibration. If the calibration is finished successfully, a prompt message completed will be displayed in the information prompt area. Two points is for zero and velocity calibration. Steps are as follows. Set the thickness of reference 1 to 4 mm. And reference 2 to 10 mm. And go to calibration submenu. Place the probe on the test block with the thickness of reference 1. Press right direction key to confirm the measured value of reference 1. Place the probe on the test block with the thickness of reference 2. Press right direction key to confirm the measured value of reference 2 and run calibration. If the calibration is finished successfully, a prompt message completed will be displayed in the information prompt area. Fast zero calibration. When work mode is normal, press function key to enter the simple operation interface. Here are the zero calibration steps. Quick zero calibration should be performed on the test block on the system. When performing the quick zero calibration, use auto search for quick adjustment. If necessary, turn off auto search for manual precise adjustment. Press down direction key to run zero calibration. Step 2. Auto search function. Steps are as follows. When probe tie is dual, set the auto search function in the measurement main menu as on. An A is displayed in the information prompt area. If F1 key is defined as auto search, you can press F1 key to activate this function. However, auto search cannot replace manual adjustment completely, which is also subject to probe selection, 
as well as material, sickness and service status of workpiece. If auto search function cannot achieve proper capture for measurement, please turn off the auto search function but adjust manually for measurement. Step 3. Velocity measurement. After zero calibration, use velocity measurement to measure velocity of workpiece, provided that the thickness of the workpiece is known. Steps are as follows. Go to measurement man menu. Set up thickness value reference to 4 mm. Turn on the submenu measurement velocity. Place the pro on the test block with thickness corresponding to thickness value reference. The data displayed in the measurement display area is the velocity value. Step 4. Parameter storage. In field name submenu, select empty field number and enter the field name ABC. Enter save submenu and turn off to on. Step 5. Measuring through coding thickness. When word mode is through coding, it can perform coding measurement function. Steps are as follows. Measure the test block when there is no coding. The measurement reading is 6 mm. Add a field of simulative coding and measure the test block. The thickness measurement reading without coding is 6 mm. Step 6. More advanced functions in CTS-59. Automatically select probe. The dialog dual probe has an identification signal pin. When connecting a dialog probe, please connect the pin and the transmit and receive prior right into the probe socket on the system carefully. When starting up the system, it can identify the probe type automatically. If connected with a probe, Found new probe device will be displayed in the information prompt area and a mark will be shown after the probe type item. Making a V-pass, the system default sets the groove of V-pass calibration curve for all compatible dual element probes. Users can make the groove of V-pass curve corresponding to the probes in use. Steps as follows. Set VPass LED to off. Set VPass enable to on. Select a test point on the test block. Set test block point at 1, which means to calibrate the first test point. Set test block point value to 4 mm when the probe is in good coupling and the thickness reading is stable. Set calibrate to on so as to record and calibrate the first test point. For calibrate test points recorded, a tick mark will appear in test block point value. Repeat steps 3 to 5 to record more test points. A valid V-pass curve shall have at least 3 test points recorded. Up to 10 test points can be recorded. TDG function, time death scan function. The TDG function is to compensate echo amplitude loss due to transmission sound pass. Set TDG enable in TDG menu on, and TDG function is enabled. When TDG function is enabled, a TDG line will appear on the screen. Temperature compensation function. In general, the higher the temperature of the solid material, the lower the velocity. Test data shows that if the temperature of thermal material rises by 100 centigrade, the velocity decreases by 1%. When the temperature of the calibration test block and the testing workpiece are different, 
the user may enable the temperature compensation function. Coating measurement function. When work mode is through coating, it can perform coating measurement function. Select code menu, address code thickness to on, and set up code velocity. Add a film or simulated coating and measure the test block. The thickness measurement reading without coating is 4 mm and the coating thickness is 0.14 mm. B-scan function Turn B-scan enable item to on. Place the probe on the test block and move the probe to measure different thickness of the test block. B-scan function measures at a physics speed and displays the measurement reading in scanning a speed mode images in proper promotion, which is convenient for recording or analyze for measurement. Multifunction For workpiece with multi-layer materials and tie bolting between each layer, thickness measurement of each layer with known velocities as well as the total thickness can be displayed. Select multi-menu, adjust multi-measurement enable to on, and enable multi-measurement function, add a film or simulative coding. Couple the probe on the surface of the testing workpiece, adjust parameters, range, velocity and gain, till the screen shows echoes from each layer. Adjust gate star, gate width and gate trash, so as to hit the echo of the first layer. Select measurement one item, press OK. At this time, screen prompts, press right direction key to update measurement area. Follow the prompts to press right direction key and create a measurement area for measurement 1. Repeat steps B to C to create another two measurement areas. That's the end of the operation procedure. Thank you for watching and have a good day.